I recently went through a really horrible breakup too, and I highly recommend it. And let me, I have this other strange pattern. Alcoholics, love them. You know, if you have your together, I'm like, oh, I, I don't have time for you. Come back, alcoholic. Uh, I recently went through a really horrible breakup, and um, the reason I recommend it is because I, uh, I uh, how do I say this? Uh, I, I look fabulous, that's what I'm trying to say. My ex-boyfriend literally scared 20 pounds off me. Okay, like if you're gonna take a swing at me, I'm wildly attracted to you. And everybody's like, Sharon, you look amazing. What have you done? I'm like, I didn't do anything. I got the crap beat out of me on Selma Avenue. Check it out. You know, and let me tell you something. 10 minutes of terror beats diet and exercise any day. All right, you don't like that either. That's too bad. Uh, I actually had to find, I actually found my father. I grew up without a father, but I went and found him. <coughs> I was told uh, once I was an adult, well, here's what happened. My stepfather adopted me, which is why I have the last name Houston. And then I was told I was actually a Lopez. And um, um, I decided to find my biological father when my stepfather, who had since divorced my mom, went to Puerto Rico and married a 15-year-old girl and brought her back to the United States as my new step-step mom, which is awful. Now, I don't know if you know, I, I was 20 at the time. I don't know if you know what it's like being disciplined by a 15-year-old when you're 20. It's something like, Jaron, go to your room. But first, can you take me to 7-Eleven to get a wine cooler because I want to party tonight, huh? <laughs> and I didn't even have to drive because she had her learner's permit. It was really awful. And um, I went to visit them to try to accept it. I thought, okay, this is like very West Side Story, you know, like the American falling in love with a Puerto Rican. Then I remembered no pedophiles in that musical. <laughs> so I went to visit them. And the first thing we did is we went bowling. And then we went to Yvette's favorite restaurant, Chuck E. Cheese. And she loved it, because she said, we have rats that big in Puerto Rico, pero they cannot sing and dance like Chuck E. Cheese, okay? <laughs> and it was just awful, so I thought, okay, I've got to find my father. So all I knew was that his last name was Lopez and that he lived in Miami. <laughs> Cubans, Cubans. And uh, so I started calling information. Now, you can only get three numbers from information at a time. And I had to call back like hundreds of times. And by like my 80th call to directory assistance, the conversation between the operator and myself went something like this. Miami directory assistance, can I help you? Hey, LaTanya, it's me, I need three more. Girl, you crazy, hold on. <laughs> she gave me numbers and I had like all these like pages and pages of Robert Lopez's and I was like, okay, so here's what I do, okay? I cracked open a pack of cigarettes, a Diet Coke, and did two lines of crystal meth. That's what fatherless daughters do. Thank you, she's like, I do crystal, shh. All right, so, um, so, uh, and I started calling all these people and none of these Cubans wanted anything to do with me. I would go, um, hi, um, are you my father? Eh, no, speak English. Uh, eres tu mi papi? Eh, no, speak Hispanic. Click, 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 <laughs> nothing. But I found him because I left messages on people's answering machines. And I was a total mess. I used no discretion whatsoever. And I'd leave this long drawn out, hi, my name is Sharon. If you're the same Robert Lopez that went to Miami High and you were briefly married to Renita Aaliyah and you were a drum major, then you are my father. Please call me, I love you. And I'm thinking, how many people got that message who like had nothing to do with me? You know, I can imagine how many Cubans came home to an angry wife who was like, Roberto, ven aquí, who are you sleeping? 